Hey friends, it's Alex on the block and welcome to a new video. So for February, my setup is more of a color scheme than a theme. So I picked sage green and like random Greek white statues. I don't know, I just felt like they'd go well together. So I was inspired by Dakota Johnson's house. I actually love that video of her house in Architectural Digest, I think. And her, her kitchen specifically is like a shade of green that's so serene and just so beautiful. So that's what inspired me for this setup. So for the quote page, I just wrote seek serenity in there and then I didn't know how to decorate it yet so I just put it aside for now. And then I also printed some stickers um, from Pinterest, all of these are from Pinterest, and just some craft paper. So this is actually an idea from Mary of Mac and Books. So I told her that my bullet journal is like a sage green theme and then she said that craft paper would look good with it and I am so thankful because it looked so much better with the craft paper. So recently I've seen this tweet about Dakota Johnson and in her interview she said that limes were her fa favorite but then she turned out to be allergic to them so it's like she lied in that interview or something like that. But yeah, I still love her, like, I really like her energy and I like her house so much, it's so gorgeous, like, oh my goodness, I want to live there. So yeah, that's the inspiration, Dakota Johnson. And then I also printed these green, shades of green, uh, and then I just cut them into circles just for decoration because like round stickers are so popular these days so I wanted to be in on the fun <laughs> and then I just wrote a Roman numeral 2 and February so if you guys don't know February is actually my birth month and I just wanted a theme that speaks my brand like me and a lot of people have been saying that like my vlogs are always so relaxing and maybe that's like my vibe really i just want to be chill all the time and what better color to embody this relaxing healing persona than green like green is just green is serene it's calm it's beautiful yeah So for this month, I also didn't want to fuss over details a lot, like if the this was me months ago, joke, <laughs> like last month, I plan it so much, I plan making my bullet journal set up so much, I have to have the right like dimensions, I have to use a ruler to have straight lines and just I wanted to chill and just I wanted to be relaxed while doing this. Oh, and the days of the week on top are actually in Hangul, which is Korean, because I'm trying to incorporate Korean as much as possible in my daily life, just because I'm trying to learn it and language learning is so hard, oh my goodness. So I just have Ilyoil, Waryoil, Waioil, Suyoil, Mokyoil, Gumyoil, and Toyoil. And then I'm just writing the numbers on the right, top right corner of the boxes. And then I actually made a mistake. So I'm just using the Sakura Jelly Roll pen to kind of erase it a little bit. And now I'm trying to see how I can hide that mistake. Recently, I've also learned that my Korean level is intermediate and <laughs> I just feel like I don't know anything. Even if I've learned a lot of things, like I can um, understand some of it, like 
I can understand the sentence structure, but I'm lacking in vocabulary. So even though I'm intermediate in the level, my vocabulary sucks. So I still won't understand the posts, the books, or like the shows if I don't know the words. So that's something that I really want to work on this year. But at the moment, I have a lot on my plate. So I'll probably just try to maintain this level of korean and just not like de decrease my level is that how you say it just not forget everything that i've learned for the past months how many months i don't know so my habits are always the same i track my period my meditation uh working out um korean reviewing for the board exams which is why i'm <laughs> i don't have time for korean anymore <laughs> and yeah i find this really useful just to track how i spend the month i think i mean just like a few days ago, my doctor asked me when my last period was and I was so happy because I tracked it in my bullet journal so I knew exactly the date. Like if I didn't track that, I wouldn't know. <laughs> So a new addition to my bullet journal this month is a gratitude tracker, I guess you could call it that. So per day, I have to write one line of what I'm grateful for that day. And I think I got this idea from Mary as well. And I just thought it's a great thing to try out. I, th I think I did this before, like in the early days of bullet journaling. <laughs> what? Because before, I really did bullet journal, but I never finished a whole year of bullet journaling just because I was so busy with college and with work and just life in general. But now I feel like I've integrated bullet journaling into my life that I'll, I won't have a problem making time for it now. Just because like I love it so much thinking of a theme, like actually making something with your hands that you're going to actually use for the whole month or for the whole year that's just something to be proud of i know it's just like gluing things here and there drawing and stuff but it's still something creative and i think that's good for your mental health and your brain just to stop and focus on th something for hours because i this is sped up if this is in real time i actually do this for like two to three hours i guess so this next spread is also one of my favorite spreads to do and this is my monthly playlist i'll always have my spotify link down below so i have these songs on spotify just i love the idea of having an osc for your life in a certain month i just i love it and it makes me actually try out new artists and explore more music just because i just love discovering new songs i think it's just a fun activity to do like making your playlist and trying to find new music that would suit that month or like just new music that you think you'd enjoy so yeah for this i'm ha i have of course the stickers and i just have this like notebook sheet <laughs> i got this from a notebook that my uncle gave me last last christmas so normally i would have album covers on the spread itself but just i told you i want to chill this month i don't want to go on printing a million things or rushing myself to make a playlist for this month just so i can put all the all, all the album covers now i just feel like it would be so much fun if i get to discover new songs throughout the month and then i can just write each song in here 
and then this is actually when my camera cut off which is so annoying i thought that i lost all the footage but yeah turns out it just cut off and some parts like didn't save but here i'm already doing my reading spread i'm also extremely sorry that this is out of focus i promise this will go into focus a little bit later <laughs> But yeah, I always have my reading spread and then I have book covers that I just paste in there and I put my TBR. So here my TBR is, it consists of six books and I, I talked about this TBR in a separate video. I don't know which one will go up first. If it's up, I'll put the link up in the cards. If it's not yet up, then you can watch out for that one. But yeah, so many good books are coming out this year and I just am so excited for this year. Like, in terms of reading, it's just a very exciting time and I think that's a popular opinion among bookish people. Like, we're in kind of like a consensus that this year is a good year for reading with all these releases and just, oh, oh my goodness. So this next spread is for content ideas and this is mostly every month it's bare of course i just put random thoughts here for videos or posts or anything and then i have stats at the bottom then this last spread is for my first weekly spread so week one of february let's do this Again, stickers which are sage or green toned and then um, white statues. What is this theme? I don't know, but it looks good, don't you think? <laughs> so this spread, like most of these spreads in my setup, is like not the typical type of spread that I do. I always do very structured spreads with boxes and things, but this one is very open and stuff like that, so... I just think it's really fun to try new things and also I have something coming up that will drastically change like my routine so I don't know how to divide my time yet so I just made it like free free for all and just put all your tasks in there don't have to worry about categorizing I just love how flexible bullet journaling is. It's just such a fun activity and you don't actually need that many equipment. You don't need a gazillion stickers, a gazillion pens. Of course, it's fun to collect these things, but just know that you can bullet journal even without these things. Like, look at me. I'm just using scrap paper and just stickers that I made myself these are these aren't stickers that i bought these are stickers that i just printed and of course i have the privilege of having a printer but if you don't you can just draw something that's how i first started my bullet journal i watercolored and it was such a fun experience and even calligraphy you don't need to have a calligraphy brush you can just do full calligraphy i survived on that for years so yeah don't feel pressured to have all these things you really just need your creativity and with that here is the final flip through If you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can just follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. And my handle is Alex on the Block, which is Alex on the BLK. And as I said, my Spotify is linked down below if you want to see my monthly playlists. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.